Okay guys, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do a model swap. A lot of people request it and it's really annoying because nobody's going to answer it and it's a waste of time. So it's very, very easy. I'm doing this for patch 5.48. Uh, that's currently live. Yes, I model edit on live servers. Who cares? Uh, this method has always worked for like every patch and it shouldn't change in the future. Alright, so this is pretty simple. Uh, so first what you want to do is go to Google uh, Google MPQ editor archives is the first link download this unless you're 64 bit you should know download it I already got it though so I'm not going to be doing that and I have dual monitors so if you see me going back and forth it's because I'm only recording my primary one. Alright, downloads, MPQ editor. Uh, one. Well, okay. Open MPQ editor. Now, today I'm going to be swapping the uh, Night Elf male to the human male. So when you log in in game, the Night Elf male will look like a human male. Not that hard. Alright, so click open MPQ. Uh, local disk. Program files. World of Warcraft data model mpq open uh... click on character human male extract okay next night elf male extract the directory should already be there where you wanted to extract okay we alright uh... next open another mpq click on texture open uh, character, human, male, track. And, yeah. It's a big file. All right, night elf, male, extract. Okay, and yes, you do see like in character, you see the fell orc, uh, the naga somewhere, and like a vikral. You can swap those. I do it all the time. But there are missing face textures, so like, I'll, I'll exp you'll understand by the end of this. Uh, figure out yourself, yeah. So basically go to work, character, you'll have human and night elf. Alright, let's open up human, male. Uh, okay, I'll explain what these are. The .m2 file is the actual model, it's the shape of the character. These skin files tell the WoW client what to do with the BLP files animation files obviously you don't need to swap those at all because uh, that's contained in the m2 file and then these are blp files here extra large okay blp files they're basically blizzard blizzard texture files you can see these are all the different skin colors and all that good stuff um, you can't uh, edit these just in their format so, if you want to do a rescan or just screw around, give them a mustache permanently, uh, download, just Google BLP Converter, download it, I uh, already have it, so, here, I'll just do that real fast, uh, just like, click on it if you have BLP Converter, you'll see right here this is a BLP file, and this is the PNG file, you can edit PNG in Photoshop, which I'm going to go ahead and just do for the hell of it. I'll just show you what you can do with it real fast. Okay. Uh, image, you know, you can just do some crazy crap, you know. Blue, why not? Yeah. I'll just do that for just this video because it's so easy. Okay. Yeah, we'll save that. Then, just if you have BLP converter, click on it again. Or wait, don't click on it. Just kidding. Uh, well. Downloads, BLP converter. And just drag it over to the program. And then you'll see, this is the new BLP version. So when we swap this, the first skin of the human will be green. Okay, so anyways, to the important stuff. Uh, go on Google. And look up bulk rename utility uh, first link uh, it's to help you rename all these you'll see in a sec 
Uh, click on the free download. It looks sketchy. Uh, it's totally clean though. Um, so then open that up right here. And what you want to do, hold on, go to details, control A, select all. Everything select in here. Drag it all over right here. That's going to take a bit because it's a lot of files. Hold on, I'm going to stop recording real fast just so it can load faster. Okay, so all these are loaded up, right? I'll make this bigger. Alright, so what you want to do is just go in this, replace, uh, type in human, and then w with night elf. Okay, then control A to select all. You'll see the new name will be Night Elf Mail blah blah blah. Click rename. Okay. Uh yeah, sure. Okay. Then close out of this. Now you'll see that still in the human mail folder, but all these are renamed Night Elf. It's pretty crazy, right? So what you want to do is control A, select all, control C, or you can just hit copy if you're still a nub. Back out. Go to Night Elf, Mail, then Control V, or you could do Paste, which we'll do Paste for you guys. Alright, do this for the next bajillion conflicts, copy and replace. And there you go. Um, so we, now I'll delete this human folder. Yeah. Then go back to MPQ Editor. Uh, click New MPQ this thingy uh, go to your local disk program files world of warcraft the data and then it has to be named something like in this general region from right here to here see how these numbers are big uh, I tried recording this earlier and this is the file I did but bandicam sucked and crashed on me so go ahead and name it something like this click save next Yes, build the MPQ from work, which we just did. Next, next, finish. It's building it. Then close out of MPQ editor. Uh, make sure to do that. And then go to the interwebs. Go to owned core. Forums. Mm, where is it? Bots and programs. Uh, well, for me, it's on the second page. You're going to look for patch, sig, md5, all that crap. Go to like the last page. Now, you want to look for a post by JH16. He is our lord and savior, and uh, he's the reason why model swapping is still possible today. So... Go to any post by him, any forum, doesn't matter. Go to his signature, find this little URL right here, control C, control V in your URL bar, enter, give it a sec to load. Alright, this will take uh, you to the quickest link to the latest patched WoW EXE. You need this because if you just put that new MP key you made in the data folder, WoW won't read it, and you need to modify EXE to do this. So I'm going to download 32-bit because uh, I'm old like that. I have a crappy computer. Okay, you'll see that downloading right here. Uh, go to downloads. Alright, what is it? I have like 10 of these. What's the day today? 520, 520, 521, 531. Okay, 7-zip. Or you could just hit extract all. Extract files, okay. And then you'll see this up here, control C, and go to WoW, World of Warcraft, and then just go here, and then control V, copy and replace. There's because I open another program. Uh, doesn't matter because my WoW C is already patched, you shouldn't have that problem. I probably have Battle.net open or some crap like that. Okay, so you don't have to get the modified EXE. But you do if you want to do model swaps or changing models. There's another method 
for reskins or sound swaps. Uh, this is simple. All you do, in fact, I'll link this form in the description. I don't feel like going into that. Okay, so now just open up Warcraft. Uh, make sure your launcher is 100% up to date, or else, uh, yeah, you'll have to redownload the modify exe. Because when WoW's updates, it'll replace the exe and crap like that. All right, I'm gonna pause the video real fast, so you don't see my WoW login. Okay, first off, you might hear some weird music. That's a model edit I did. Uh, I didn't like the WoW music, so I changed that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, this is live. It's Pendarn. The reason it's blanked out and Monk is too, is because my login screen is uh, original. I model swap that too. I use a lot of model swaps. And just to show off, a uh, couple model swaps I've done is Maghar. Um, I don't think I have any others on characters right now. Uh, I have the alpha female worgen model. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. You'll see. Uh, that is the human male as a night elf. A couple of textures are messed up. But this is just a basic model swap. Uh, I could fix this easily in a matter of seconds. Oh, and the reason the face is only green because I only changed the face. There's the chest and everything. But like I said, this is just basic. So uh, if you just want to be a human knight elf, why not? Druid, death knight, you know, all that crazy. And you can still see this is human. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's how you model swap. I'll probably do a video tutorial how to fix this crap and how to do reskins and, you know, that crazy stuff. It's not hard. Now, please stop requesting model stops in the forum, model swaps in the forums, and do it yourself. This works for every patch, except for Wrath of Lich King. You don't need a patched EXE. You can just, and you also just rename it if you have Wrath of Lich King patch dash H. You don't need to have those big long numbers update crap. All right, well, thanks for watching. See ya.